Okay, looking at this scramble, I think the best one to go for, the best center to go for first might be, uh, might be yellow. So I can create a T using these two, this one and this one. And I've also got these two here and this one back here. So I'll go like that, then do a U2 straight afterwards, finish off my, uh, finish off my two by three, like that, and then finish off the yellow center like that. And there, are, there were a few rotations in there, but I think because of the few number of moves that it actually took to solve the center, it was probably okay. Then I'll, based on this, I've got these two here and this one here. And I also remember I've got no white center pieces on the back. So I can do something like U R prime F prime R like that. Then I've got this one and this one with which I can create a T. So I'll probably go U R B prime R prime U2 are uh, you prime out prime? Then I've got this one here and these two. So I can do F, D2, and then insert that. Now, as soon as I insert that last one by three bar onto white, I notice I've got this one by three on orange. So I'll probably move it over the white, out of the way and work on my orange. So I've got the T now, and I can use this edge center here to create this two by three. And actually, again, before I finish the two by three, what I'll, on or, uh, before I finish the orange center, I'll create a two by three on green as well. And actually, because I have these two, it probably makes more sense to actually finish the two by three on green as well, and then finish off the orange center. So I can finish off the orange center like this. So F R prime F prime, U R U prime, R prime U R. And then for my last center, I've got a bunch of blocks um, all around the cube. I'm just trying to think about the most efficient way to tackle this. Um, probably just do a T. Uh, actually, this, this is tricky. Um, I'll probably just do a T with those ones. And then that. And now I've got these two, this two by three on the right hand side here. So I'll use Y, L, U, L and U moves to finish off those like that and hmm, as i was hmm, yeah no there's, there's not that much available around here to start with i notice i've got this block here and the last edge pieces down here so i can do something like d prime u prime l prime and use start using this as my slice so i've got this solved now what i'll do is probably rotate and look for what to solve next. And I can go for the yellow and blue. So I've got this one here, this one here, and this one down here. Insert, slice, flip, slice. Then I notice I've got this um, yellow and red block. So I'll flip over because the last yellow and red piece is here. Insert that. Then I might go for, hmm, well, I, I did notice I've got this yellow and green one, which is kind of sticking out a little bit, and this yellow and green one is here. Um, and, but that would involve me flipping over again, which I guess I would probably do in a speed solve because my look ahead, even now with slow turning, isn't good enough to figure out something more efficient. So I'll flip over, insert this one, and then continue solving. And I could probably go for the um, orange, the, the green and white. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. Slice, flip, slice, then hmm, again, not great cases. I can go for the blue and yellow, uh, sorry, blue and red, this one, this one, and this one. And before I slice, I remember I've got this blue and orange pair here. So I can take that out, slice, and then slice back to solve my orange, my blue and orange pair. This one's here. And then I can go for, hmm, I might go for the white and blues because I've got this one here and these, these two over here. And then take it out and restore the centers. Now I've got these two and this one, which are pretty easy. Then I've got these two and this one. Um, actually, it would have been better to just do a three cycle in this case um, because I've got blocks on all my last three edges. So I can do something like L prime U prime L, U2, to finish off my uh, 
finish off my edges, but I don't know if I would have seen that in a speed solve. And actually just doing the slice, flip, slice um, twice is pretty fast and finger trick friendly. So then I'll go for, hmm, probably go for the green cross. I've got this one and these two here. So I can do something like D, L, U, R prime F, D, like that. Then I'll go for these two, these two, these two, and then these two. Then I've got OLL, and then N permutation for PLL. Alrighty, so on this scramble we've got plenty of decent choices. Um, orange sticks out because we've got these blocks like that, and white sticks out because we've got a bunch of pieces all around two faces. Um, I'm inclined to go for orange in this case, so we can do something like hmm, F prime, L prime, U, L prime, and then U, F prime, L prime. So that would have been pretty easy to execute. And then we've got this block here, which was preserved, and this last uh, center corner there. And then I'd flip like this. I can create a one by three line from these two pieces in this one, like so. And then I'll scan around to the left and right hand faces to see where my other red centers are. And based on that, I'll insert this one and then use this edge center to finish off the two by three. And then after that, I'll finish off the center like so. Now when I rotate here, I notice I've got this two by two block on white, so I can extend that to a two by three like that. Then I've got these two, and this one down here. Um, we can do something like D2, U2, D2, R2, U prime R. Um, now, green, I guess we would go for green next. Um, even though it's not ideal. So you can do these two, like that, and then these two, and then this one and these two. So that was a little bit ugly actually. Um, then I'll go for this line uh, in the front here, and then finish off. Now, when as I was doing that, I noticed a a few different things around the cube. I noticed this flipped block as well as this flipped block. So what I can do is actually do something like slice, flip, slice back to solve these. And then the last um, orange and blue piece is actually back here, which isn't a particularly nice case. Um, yeah, it's not a very nice case at all. So what I'll do is probably insert this white and blue one here and then continue working on the white and blues because they're pretty easy. Um, and then take it out. And then I might go for the yellow and reds. So these two and this one and this one. So all the while preserving this block and keeping and keeping track of this blue, blue and uh, orange edge. And now because we've inserted this one and taken this one out to the top, we can easily insert it and take it out. Now I'll flip over, and I notice I've got this one and these two, which are easy. Then um, I'll go for the white and green, which is this one, this one, and this one. Then I can go for the, hmm, maybe the white and orange. And then to finish off, I guess I'll go for the green and red because they're going to be pretty easy to finger trick. Just got this one, slice, flip, slice, insert, and then resolve the centers. Now I've got this block back here, so I can do slice, flip, slice, like that. And then I've got um, this, these two and this one. So I took out this back pair like so, then I'll slice, insert the edge like this to move this one over to there, which gives me a nice last two edge case, which I can do in this position. And then work on my three by three stage. Now I've got these two blue cross edges 
and finish off the cross like that. Then I've got these two. Then probably those back there. Then I probably rotate back and do these two and orient some edges. And then these two. Now I've got OLL and an permutation for PLL.